Hello everyone and welcome to my second video discussing your ideas for the Far Cry 6 map editor. Now if you haven't seen it already, there were some amazing ideas in the first edition of this new mini series that I am running and I had so much fun making that video and discussing your ideas that I jumped straight in and I'm recording episode 2 straight after. Now if you are new to the channel, we are focused on the creative side of gaming here and as a result we've got an entire section of our Discord dedicated to uh, discussing our ideas for the next map editor in the Far Cry 6 game. That is, of course, assuming it has a map editor. Hopefully we'll hear news very, very soon. But today I want to jump into another whole bunch of ideas because there's so many that have been discussed in this fantastic channel here on our Discord. And I wanted to go through and talk about more of the exciting ideas and concepts you guys have and also throw in some of my own in the process. Now the first series of comments here are talking about something I'm extremely passionate about and that is the idea for more game modes in the Far Cry 5 multiplayer. So, and not even just multiplayer, but the single and co-op mode as well. So Gongus here has suggested something like the capture game mode from New Dawn. Uh, we have to get into an area, take a package and then extract. Uh, we've got further ideas down here where people are talking about game modes like Search and Destroy, Domination, Capture the Flag, Infected. The list goes on. Now, this is such an important thing in my opinion because Far Cry 5 only featured uh, Deathmatch and Team Deathmatch, two of the blandest game modes there are. Of course, they can be fun, but they get old rather quickly. So bringing in a more strategic element with the game modes would be so refreshing and allow entire maps to be experienced in a completely different way, even if nothing changes with them structurally. I remember my biggest frustration with Far Cry 5's multiplayer was the lack of objective game modes like Capture the Flag or Search and Destroy or Domination, because it completely changes the way players behave. Obviously in Team Deathmatch or Deathmatch, it encourages you staying put, taking vantage positions and uh, just camping for most of the game. But when there's an objective and when you have to move, it completely changes the flow of the map. So it would definitely be more refreshing if we had more game modes available. But then on top of that, I really want the developers to lean into more of the sandbox feel that Far Cry has so much potential with. Far Cry is never going to be a serious shooter, in my opinion, like uh, Call of Duty or anything like that, or any of the more serious, serious shooters. So if it's not going to be a competitive platform, why not make it a fun platform? Why don't lean into uh, things like Halo's Forge, for example, where you've got all these fun game modes like Infected or Racing uh, that just have this party atmosphere attached to them. For me, of course, I don't want it to become a, a silly playground, but having more fun options available and more fun modes would be a huge bonus and I think it would add a, a much more, uh, it would keep the community around longer because people would have more ways of uh, creating something that's interesting and new and unique, um, but it'll also be a lot more fun I think in the long run as well. So there's a lot of suggestions here about game modes and I fully, fully agree with those. Then we have an idea in a similar kind of vein here from Steve64B, who's talking about actually having uh, different gameplay modifiers and being able to override them on the player side. So right now, if you build a map, you have to choose the gameplay modifiers in the map itself. So anytime people are playing that map, you set the gravity, they'll experience all that sort of stuff. It would be great again to, sorry, reference Halo, to have the option to have maps and then game modes separately and being able to customize customize the game modes rather than the map itself so that you could play a map with a few different modes such as high gravity or low gravity or one shot kill or just normal health for example that way again you wouldn't have to customize the fundamental map just to make a simple change and uh, again i think maps would uh, there'd be a lot more mileage for each one as well if we had that degree of customization as well of course more gameplay modifiers a little bonus one on top of this would be a huge plus as well we have some fun options but i think it can certainly be taken a lot further as well um once again i think the custom games in halo would be a great source of inspiration uh, if the developers do want to lean in more to that side of things a really popular suggestion based on the number of reactions we've got here, <laughs> eight total reactions, um, is more weather options. I think this is a great call as well. Far Cry 5's uh, weather options do feel like a bit of a downgrade on some of the previous games such as the blizzards that Marlin points out here, actually such as the blizzards that were in Far Cry 4 or intense storms that were in Far Cry 3. I think having more of those weather options and upping their intensity would be a huge bonus. Once again, making maps feel a bit more interesting and unique. And I've talked about it before. For me, Far Cry, it's not just fighting an enemy faction. 
it often, for me at least, it feels like you're fighting the world itself. Um, and I think the campaigns do a really good job, mostly, of making the world feel alive and dangerous. But being able to uh, bring that same atmosphere across to our own maps, I think, would be a huge, huge addition to the map editor. So more extreme weather options, I think, would be great as well. Then we've got one here from Bar, who uh, is bringing up a topic which is extremely common. It's probably one of the most common, but understandable suggestions people have for the next map editor, which is a larger building area. And then further down, I'm sure someone's going to mention, yeah, there it is, less limits, <laughs> a higher budget as well. Of course, we always want more, more room to build, more freedom to put as many assets down as we can. Anytime you can build something bigger and better, of course, it's going to be welcomed and hopefully uh, we have a bit more freedom in coming games. I don't think Far Cry 5 was any slouch in terms of the building area. And I was also quite impressed with the budget in terms of static objects, but we were quite limited limited in terms of vehicles and uh, things like that. So obviously more budgets, bigger building area, of course, is going to lead to increased creativity. Um, and I think if they can up that scale once again with Far Cry 6, I think many, many players would be really happy. Some suggestions we've got further in the channel here talks about scripting and so look, scripting is one of those things that definitely was great in Far Cry 5, but it could be a lot better and uh, making it a bit more bulletproof as well because the scripting could often break quite easily. Uh, even though, yes, of course, there's many ways you can do something wrong as the creator, it did feel a bit inconsistent, especially when you'd put time and effort into something that should, in theory, work perfectly and for whatever reason, it just doesn't. But the thing I want to focus on here is another one from Marlon in his second comment, talking about a tutorial specifically for scripting. But I think tutorials in general would be a fantastic addition to the next Far Cry map editor because it's not easily approachable, the Far Cry map editor. You start with a blank canvas and you just go for it. Uh, there's nothing really to guide you. Um, of course, there's help online and things like that. But I think an in-game tutorial would make it a lot more accessible and allow people to sort of break into the editor easier and uh, try and realize the potential before they're scared off. Because it would be a, tra a tragedy if uh, there's all these people who want to build amazing things but just don't have the skills or uh, experience to do so. And I think the developers could do some degree of uh, effort in the region of helping those uh, newer players understand what's available and just give basic general tips as well for building maps. It would be great if there was stuff in game as well. Of course, I enjoy producing that kind of content that's designed to try and help people, um, but I'm by no means an expert myself. I've just got a fair amount of experience doing it. So being able to uh, have advice and assistance for players in game, I think it just seems like a no brainer, doesn't it? Allowing uh, both new players to uh, use the editor for the first time and also maybe even teach uh, existing editors some new tricks as well. That would be fantastic. Another really interesting suggestion here from uh, Scout Trooper talks about the idea of AI in the multiplayer. I thought that would be a really cool addition, actually. Um, Far Cry 2, I think, had 16 players in the PvP multiplayer, but that number has come down over the years, and I think we're only on about 12 in Far Cry 5. And that is not a great feeling because you have a massive canvas to work with, but not a, a very high player count. Now, obviously, the ideal solution is to have more players in the lobbies full stop just upping that limit from you know 12 to something like 16 or 20 i think would be great uh, but being able to incorporate ai in addition to real life players i think would be fun as well and it would help sustain the game especially after the initial interest has died off we see many games even games like call of duty uh, have bots available in certain modes so it would be good to see that come across um, as well, especially when there's uh, a basic level of AI already available in single player and co-op maps. So I thought that would be a really good thing. It would add to the scale of the multiplayer battles, even if there aren't additional players as such. Um, and again, sustaining it longer into the future as well. That could be a rather interesting addition, actually. And let's finish up with one from Top Tart, who talks, who talks about slope constraints for collection tools. Now, this may not sound like much, but this is the kind of quality of life stuff that I absolutely love. One of my favorite things in Far Cry 5's map editor and the previous editors is the minimum slope tool when you're painting textures that recognizes that it's only going to paint a certain rock texture, for example, on slopes that exceed a certain uh, verticality, for example. Um, and that is a fantastic tool because it allows you to paint massive areas to a high degree of realism in a short amount of time. And one thing that I often have to do that does take a little bit of time when I'm building maps, 
after I put all the trees down with the collection tool, I then have to go through and remove them in places where trees normally just wouldn't grow. Again, slopes being one of those locations most of the time. So TopTart makes a great suggestion here that have the minimum slope tool for the texture. Why not apply that to the collection tool as well? Or even better, you could have uh, an alternative. So you could have the base collection you're trying to place down and then a second collection, which will then start applying on anything that exceeds your minimum slope. So for example, you could take it from trees to short grass when it's going up a steep slope. So that's a really cool quality of life suggestion. That's the kind of stuff I really like talking about too, because it's the little ideas that sometimes add up and contribute hopefully to what will be an amazing editor next time around if we do indeed get one. But that brings us to the end of the second edition, talking about your ideas for the Far Cry 6 map editor. I'm not sure how much you guys can see on screen, but we're only halfway down this channel. There's so many amazing ideas here on the Discord. And if you want to contribute your own, be sure to check out the link in the description below. Come on over, share some of your own thoughts as well. Just remember to check out the rules as we do run a pretty tight ship on this server. But I hope you guys have enjoyed. I continue to look forward to uh, Far Cry 6 and discussing your ideas in the process. And I hope you've enjoyed the latest episode of talking about potential features that we would like to see. Hey everyone, thanks for making it to the end of the video. If you enjoyed it, please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe as those simple actions have a huge positive impact on a small channel like mine. Be sure to check out our Xbox Club in the description below and on the screen right now you can see some of my other videos that I think you will really enjoy. Cheers!